So I'd like to consider electrical power. Now here we have a component, and if there's energy being transferred to it per unit time, we can think about the power which is maybe dissipated in that component. Now um, we know that power is equal to the rate of work being done, or the rate at which energy is transferred. So I'm going to start with this equation here, and we're going to look in a bit more detail at the equations that you must know for electrical power. So in a previous video, we've looked at this equation here, where the work done is equal to the potential difference multiplied by the charge. And what I can do is I can substitute this into this equation. So here we have P is equal to VQ divided by T. And I've just uh, put this term here to replace the W here. Now, uh, we can look at this in a bit more detail. And there's a link between the charge transferred and the time. And if you uh, maybe remember to the equation Q is equal to IT, we can also write this as Q divided by T is equal to I. And what I can then do is replace this Q over T with this term over here. So we can say that P is equal to I multiplied by V. And this here is the equation that you need to know about. Effectively, what it means is if you have uh, something with a greater current flowing or perhaps a greater potential difference, then there's going to be a greater amount of energy transferred or dissipated into that component every second. And therefore, there's greater power. So electrical power is equal to the current times the potential difference, but there's another equation that says V is equal to I times R, or I is equal to V divided by R. Now what we can do is we can use this equation and this one here, and we can come up with another couple of forms of this equation. So first of all, I'm going to replace the V term with IR. So I can say then that the power is equal to the current multiplied by the current multiplied by the resistance, and we can write this as P is equal to I squared R. So that's our second equation. Uh, and if we think about replacing the I term with V over R, we can also write that P is equal to V over R multiplied by V, which is equal to V squared over R. So here we have my three equations for electrical power. Uh, remember, power is still the rate of energy transfer, but we can calculate it for a circuit as either I times V, uh, I squared times R, or V squared divided by R. And depending on uh, what information you've been given in the question, then e all of these uh, equations here are perfectly appropriate.